the entrance of the trail right over here. And right behind me is a porcini. This is a good sign. Hopefully we'll find some more along the trail. Um, yeah, let's forage this baby. I have this as backup, but honestly I think I might just twist and turn it out. Porcinis usually kind of just work with gravity and you don't have to work too hard to get them out of the ground. This is a nice big one. Rather than roots, mushrooms actually are attached to mycelium. That's actually the entire organism living under the ground. So the mushroom is technically the flower. I think that's enough right here at this beautiful porcini. Um, I would guess this is like four to six ounces. So this was the spot where I found the baby um, two days ago. It's definitely grown a little bit. So this was the cap that we saw the other day. Uh, they feel pretty soft, like they've been eaten up already. I'm gonna go ahead and, and pick one out because I wanna kind of see how big this is overall. So as you can see, this is a pretty deformed porcini. Um, and I can almost guarantee it's just filled with bugs in the inside. It's pretty soft and it kind of leaves a fingerprint, which I feel like means it's saturated with water as well. One good thing to know is that even if mushrooms kind of buggy and old, um, if there's you know enough potential good meat on there, you can just dry it out. The bugs will crawl right out. led me to this patch of a couple really big porcinis, um, some of the biggest I've ever found actually. Starting with this one, which is the smaller of the two. And then over here, we have this big guy. Feels really firm, which is awesome. Looks like we got a little buggy action right here, but this is a perfect King Belit Porcini. Yay! 